Take it easy, it's me, darling. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. What kind of men are you sitting around criticizing others? We don't often spend a lot of time on a film's opening credits, but with Frankenstein's Castle of Freaks, there's a couple that definitely bear mention. Monsters, plural, liking that. And... I'm not sure what's better, the name Boris Lugosi or the fact that the character Ook was clearly named by the librarian from Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. It's possible. This was directed by Dick Randall, who wrote Lady Frankenstein, and is another high gothic Italian horror, which means it's sex mad. Come with me, we go to Woodshed. And plot free. Yes, sir. I just don't understand this kind of madness. The film opens with Count Frankenstein, not sure if that's a step up or down from Baron, bringing a Neanderthal named Goliath back to life. <laughs> with the brain of a girl whose grave his henchmen have robbed. His work is interrupted by the arrival of his daughter with her fiancé and her hot friend, Krista. I've always wanted to do something important for science. Any ideas, Count? It's all in the name of science, my dear. Maybe meeting you is the answer to my dreams. In fairness, she is training to be a doctor, but I can't help feeling that's not why she's in the film. Now for your first mud bath, Kristen. Oh, that's rather messy. Goliath is violently protective towards her. <laughs> which really makes me wonder what effect putting a girl's brain in a Neanderthal's body actually had. We have civilized his instincts by substituting his brain. Elsewhere in the plot, Frankenstein's dwarf assistant, Gens, is fired for conduct unbecoming of a grave robber. You necrophile. He's also peeping on Krista. And Frankenstein's daughter. Busy night. He then meets another Neanderthal whom he names Ook. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship, but instead Gens uses Ook to kidnap girls. And... I'm going to teach you the, the pleasures of life. <laughs> I'm not clear how there are two Neanderthal males in the area if they don't know about sex, on the other hand, I suppose it would explain why there are more. Could be the work of a sex maniac. As an act of vengeance, Gens releases Goliath. <laughs> who kills a bunch of people before saving Krista, who has been kidnapped by Ook. <laughs> and then gets himself killed by the ignorant and fearful villagers. There's a bit of a monster <sighs> in... All of us. Ah, a moral. And not just a moral, justification for that credit earlier. I was promised four Frankenstein monsters. There's one. The others are his assistants. Hans. <laughs> Igor. I shall kill that dirty little rat. And Kriegin. <laughs> Failure to deliver is this film's main issue, because what does Frankenstein really do? I brought a human being back to life. That's a given in your family. What does he do wrong? Grave robbing obviously isn't cool, but he's not hurt anyone. Somehow it doesn't seem to be right to fool with the laws of God. Now I still say it's a grey area. He's hitting on his daughter's friend, but she's fine with it, and so is his daughter. And wouldn't it be interesting if you married him and became my mother, Krista? It's only when Gens frees Goliath that shit happens, and yet, as is traditional, Frankenstein is killed by his creation. <laughs> Why? This is not the way of justice! The presence of daughter and fiancé adds nothing. I'm happy you could join us for the holidays. The sadomasochistic affair Kriegin is having with Hans' wife leads nowhere. Naughty girl, Kriegin. Kriegin. Oh, nice. <coughs> oh, Kriegin. Mm. Mm. Oh.
while the monster spends 90% of the movie strapped to a table and putting a girl's brain in his body doesn't seem to have had any effect. It just doesn't deliver. By the way, if I were in your place, I shouldn't take too much interest in the Frankensteins. I'm forced to agree. Perhaps the name of Frankenstein will live on. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe, and if you'd like to see more Frankenstein reviews, click here. Dr. Frankenstein is always portrayed as a lonely soul figure, and yet in a lot of these films, he has kids. What happened to his wife? Let us know your suggestions for the tragic Frankenstein family history in the comments below. Get out! Get out of your room! <laughs>